Okay guys, so this video is gonna be a little bit different because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a video tour, uh, a neighborhood tour. And at the same time, I'll be telling you a little bit about Naples. Let's get started. Naples is located in Collier County in Southwest Florida. To the very south, it is right next to the Gulf of Mexico. So you know what that means. Now let's get into a little bit about what Naples has to offer. Now when it comes on to housing, Naples houses have a median estimated home value of $474,000. Now how does that compare to Florida and the United States? Well, Florida's median estimated home value is only $338,000. So we see already that Naples estimated home value is a little bit higher than for the entire state of Florida. Similarly, the USA median estimated home value for the entire USA is 303,000. So again, we see that Naples, the home values are way above the national average. Now let's look at how many people own their homes in Naples versus renting. 78% of the persons who reside in Naples actually own their own home while 22% rent. Okay, let's tell you a little bit more about Naples. Now let's talk about the price range of homes that have sold in the last uh, 12 months. Now most of the homes that have sold in Naples have sold above $400,000 and uh, the price per square foot typically ranges between $200 and $300 per square foot. The homes in Naples are pretty large. They range in size between 2,200 and 2,400 square feet. When it comes down to the age of homes in Naples, Again, they are relatively young. Most of the homes are between 20 and 30 years old, and some are between 10 and 20 years old. So we see lots of new construction in the Naples market. And typically, the houses that sell are three bedroom homes. Now the population in Naples is just over 21,000 people. And that gives a population density of about 1.7 thousand people per square mile. The median age of residents in Naples is 66 years old. And the, the ratio of male to female is 46 to 54. Now 56.7% of the persons who live in Naples have at least acquired a college education okay let's talk about the household income the household income of persons who live in naples is typically above one hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the income per capita meaning the income per person in naples is about one hundred and ten thousand four hundred and twenty three dollars now that compares to thirty one thousand six hundred and nineteen dollars per capita for Florida and 34,103 for the United States. Now, when it comes on to occupation, what do the people in Naples do? Well, the top three occupations in Naples are retail trade, that's number one, two, healthcare and social assistance, and the third one is real estate, rental, and leasing. Let's talk about the quality of life in Naples. Naples has an elevation of 1,605 feet above sea level. The annual rainfall is just about 60 inches. And we have, Naples has 98 days of full sun. There's no snow in Naples. And when it comes on to traveling to work, the average time is about 20 minutes. So the average commute is a commute time is about 20 minutes and there are no brownfield sites in Naples. So how do people get to work? How do people get around in Naples? Well, typically most persons drive or they carpool or they use a motorcycle and you have 
you have a, a sizable amount of persons in Naples who actually work from home. Right, so just over a thousand three hundred persons actually work from home in Naples. When it comes down to the temperatures, the temperatures, like all of Florida, the temperatures in Naples are very nice. Temperatures range from fifty six degrees in in winter <laughs> all the way up to eighty five degrees, sometimes ninety degrees. So you're not gonna find any snow in Florida. It's gonna be nice and warm. All right, guys, that's some information about Naples, Florida. Now, if this sounds like somewhere that you'd love to live, somewhere that you'd like to know more about, please go ahead, leave me a comment in the comment section or reach out to me directly. I leave my contact details in the description box below. Okay, guys, so that's it for this week. Thank you again for joining me once again. And any questions you have, any comments, feel free to contact me. Okay, once again, my name is Keisha Metcalf with MVP Realty signing out for this week. See you again next week. Bye bye.